This is Edward Chicken, and in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to use Fusion and a laser cutter to make custom cardboard dice of any size that you want with any cardboard thickness. So here we go. So first of all I'm going to make a sketch on the bottom plane and I'm going to choose the rectangle with the uh, center point and so I'm going to make it um, W equals 20. What that means is uh, I'm setting a new variable called W for width to 20 and I'll just hit enter. And then now I can actually dimension, so sketch dimension, the other one, the one that's still blue, and I can just say W. And now it's going to match that 20 value. And if I want to change it later and make a larger or smaller dice, I can totally do that. So that's enough for the sketch. And I'm going to extrude that up by the thickness of the cardboard. I'm going to make a new variable called T for thickness. And, I, and the stuff I'm using is three millimeters thick. So T equals three, enter. Okay, now I'm going to sketch directly on the face of this bottom piece and I'm going to make a couple of notches. So I'm using the rectangular uh, tool and I'm going to say W over 3 for the length of the notch. So we'll have sort of a thirds and then the other one is the T value, the thickness of the cardboard. Okay, that one's uh, done. Click it and then do another rectangle from the other corner. Same kind of thing. I'm going to go W over 3 and then uh, T for thickness. And I'm going to do it twice and it's down. Okay, and I can finish that sketch. And now I can extrude those two pieces out of my material. So we're going to go negative T value for distance. So it'll back it up and we'll actually remove some material. And I can twist you, grab the cube, and turn a little bit for my next move where I'm going to do a circular pattern whereby I don't want to do bodies, I want features instead. And so if I select these little notches and then I need an axis, which is going to be the world's Z axis. Uh, the default is sometimes three, but you can make it four and that should take the notches out of all four sides. And there we go, that's a nice little uh, bottom piece for me. Uh, next, I'm going to create a new work plane offset from the original X, Y plane. And in this case, I would go W over two, so width in half. And so I can mirror this, my next move, mirror, and this time, yes, a body, mirror that object using this new plane, and okay. I now have a top and a bottom, excellent. I'm now gonna create the sketch for one of the walls. I'll just do it right on the edge of one of uh, my cut piece. And we're going to need to uh, project some geometry here. It's, it's under create and it's project and it's, it's letter P or just P for short. I need a couple of points. I need the top left corner and I need the bottom right corner. I click OK. Then I can do a rectangle across and that's all I need. And now I can do an extrusion of that one. And this one's going to be negative T value as well, but I don't want it to be a cut this time. I actually want to make a whole new piece. So I'll have a separate body. And notice how it is uh, leaving a notch at the top, but actually at the bottom, it's not leaving a notch there. Uh, so I'm going to do another a move, which is a combine. And I'm going to be losing material in the wall, using the floor. And then sometimes this one is unchecked, the key tools. You definitely want to keep your, your floor. So I would say okay to that. And that actually removes the material from uh, the, the, the wall. So now there's a bottom notch and a top notch. So you can turn those on and off to see what you have. Uh, next, I'm going to create a sketch right on the wall. And I'm going to do uh, some notches, I'll start in the upper left. And then again, we've got uh, T for thickness this way, and then W over three for that way. And another one starting at the bottom left. Again, T is one of them and W over three is the other. There we go. And last notch is going to be connected to this right side, but uh, not in the middle, just anywhere kind of uh, there is fine. And then I'm going to set my dimensions again. This one is T, the other one is W over three. And it's not fixed in location at this point. That's why it's blue. So I'm going to set the dimension between the top and this one to be over three and that fixes it perfectly in the middle and that's all I need now I would extrude those notches away with negative T for the value and it is a cut this time and I say okay to that and we have a, a finished wall 
And now I can create one last circular pattern where I'm not doing a feature, I'm actually doing a whole body and I'm selecting the wall. The axis, once again, is the Z world axis. And yes, I want four of them and okay. And now I have a nifty cube that is uh, designed as my, uh, whatever size I want. And I'm gonna show you how to turn off, first of all, the plane that I made. And, you know, if you have different cardboard than what I've described here, if it's less thick or more thick, you can really easily change it. If you hit S and then select this change parameters button, you can see the variables I've been entering. The uh, three is for the thickness. Let's say your cardboard is only two millimeters and notice how that actually changes the design significantly. Or maybe you want to make a larger cube, you could set that width value to a higher value or a lower value. I'm going to go back to my 20 and 3, uh, but the nice thing is you can set those to anything and uh, the model will automatically adjust. I'm going to close that and now I want to export my uh, work here so I can laser cut it. So really there's only two unique shapes. There's a wall and, and uh, the top and bottom. So if I select to draw on a wall and I hit the P for project geometry, select the middle, hit enter, and it grabs all those sketch points for a, a laser cutter. And then one more for the top. So once again, I can finish that sketch and then I will create a sketch on the top and press P for project and select the middle and okay, grabs all that geometry. Excellent, so I've got two brand new sketches and they are the ones that I'll actually be exporting here as DXF, it's a transfer file, a digital transfer file. Uh, works with many machines. I'll call this dice uh, side um, and, and then I'm going to do the same thing for sketch six. It's going to be a dice top um, loop. You can see I have a number of them that I've been practicing with. Okay, as long as you remember. Then I would open up my laser cutting software. In this case, um, this is going to be the, the final product here, but I'll show you, you would import uh, the two that were just made. And yes, I did do millimeters. Puts it right in the middle. I'm going to hold shift and hit the arrow. So there is one of the top pieces. And then you would load in a side piece, open, and once again, that'll be in the middle, millimeters. Get back to separate. And then what I did was make the letter, the numbers right in this software. So I just used the text function and you can type a number. The, the size that I started out was pretty good. Uh, so you're gonna want two of this shape for the top and the bottom, and you should do one and six in opposition. So you can see those two. And then the other four can um, be in kind of any order because it doesn't matter, you can assemble it later, but two should be in opposition of five and three to four as well. Um, you can have the option of engraving the full letter or you could actually turn off the fill and it will just do the outline which is actually faster uh, but it's up to, up to you whatever you want and this is ready for laser cutting.